Let's take a look at the Prado cocktail, another tequila cocktail to add to your repertoire. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, there aren't that many tequila cocktails out there. And so when I was glancing through the, uh, the Jones Bar Guide, a very rich book full of about 4,000 different recipes, and I encountered this particular uh, tequila cocktail, I thought it sounded rather intriguing. It's called the Prado. Uh, especially intriguing because it uses egg whites, an ingredient I like using in uh, drinks quite a bit. Let's go ahead and make it. We're going to start off with one and a half ounces of tequila, Malagra tequila. I like using silver tequila when I'm making cocktails because I think that brings out more of the tequila flavor uh, that I look for. We're then going to add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, fresh squeezed, of course, now we're going to add one half of an egg white. Now, when using eggs in cocktails, specifically raw eggs, you're bound to hear a lot of problems from people about salmonella. The real problem with eggs and salmonella is when they're not prepared properly, when they're not manufactured properly. A lot of these chickens are grown in these big gigantic coops of thousands and thousands of chickens, and so the chickens are stuck in these small little cages and they're producing eggs. And that's the sort of thing that really stresses the hens out quite a bit and causes a lot of the problems we're seeing in the quality of eggs. To guarantee the quality of your eggs, you want to make sure you use locally produced, organic, free-range, cage-free chicken eggs because they're the best out there. To incorporate an egg white into your drink, first thing you need to do is, of course, separate the yolks from the whites. I like to do this by using the shell itself to assist me, opening the egg over a container and just shifting the yolk back and forth until the white comes off. And now if you've got another use for the egg yolk, you can retain the egg yolk, but I don't, so out it goes. In this drink, we're only using half of an egg white. Uh, part of the reason for that is they're wanting the egg white to provide a foam and a froth to it, but not too much foam and not too much froth. And so it's not really a, an accurate measure, but just take and don't pour the entire thing into your shaker. Leave some of it left. And now we're going to add a half ounce of maraschino liqueur. To aid the frothing that the egg white's going to bring to the drink, you don't want to take and shake it with ice to begin with because the ice will actually prevent the foam from getting the, the most volume it can. You want to shake it dry. And I like to take the strainer, the, the spring strainer off of a standard Hawthorne strainer and just put that into the shaking tin. And now comes the fun part. What you're trying to do here is whisk the egg white really well to add a lot of good foam to it. So it's going to take a while, perhaps, a lot of energy involved and a good workout to help burn some of those calories. Once you think you have it done enough, open it up, take a look. You want nice tight bubbles on the foam. And we'll reach out. Take that little strainer spring out, and now we can add our ice. Put the lid back on. And 
straight into our glass. You want to make sure you get all that rich foam on the top of the drink. The garnish for this is just a lime wheel with a cherry. And there we have the Prado cocktail.